السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. This is Shad Al-Qassas, the Director of Innovation at Al-Ittihad National Private School, Al-Ain. And today we're going to go through the, uh, the process of registration of the teachers uh, for their AP courses. So in order to register for your AP courses, you need, first of all, you need to go to the collegeboard.org. And then in the main page, you need to click on the sign up. By clicking to sign up, you're going to be redirected to the uh, uh, registration uh, page. And in here, you need to choose whether you are a student or an education professional. For you as a teacher, you're going to click on this option. As a student, uh, you need to click on this option. In the future, we're going to uh, uh, provide you with a video that explains the process of uh, registering your account as a student. But for now, we are going to click on an education professional to proceed to your teacher's account. So this is the page where you're going to provide your information. You will begin with your first name, last name, your gender, your email, and then you need to click on this because you live outside the US. And here, this is an option to keep, up, uh, to keep updated with uh, different uh, college board deadlines, dates, and related programs uh, and services. Uh, then you need to provide your username, your password. You will confirm your password and uh, you will choose a security question. And finally, uh, you need to provide the school information. Of course, this is not going to be filled because this is for the US schools, but for you, you need to be uh, filling this uh, part where you're going to have your um, uh, code, which is the AIDI or CEEB code. And this code will be provided by the AP coordinator. And finally, you're going to provide your role in the school or the job function. So you can choose from this list. And the convenient one is the K-12 AP teacher. Once you finish your uh, registration form, you need to click Next. So by clicking Next, you are going to create your College Board AP account. Now you can go and sign in to your uh, account. So you enter your username and your password and you will go to your uh, AP account. So now you have registered yourself but you didn't choose your courses yet. In order to add your courses, you need to go to your dashboard. Your dashboard is here by clicking uh, on the yellow tag beside your name, you will go directly to your dashboard. Once you click on your dashboard, you will go to your uh, course audit. And the course audit is going to provide you with the different courses that you can add to your account. So by clicking on here, the AP pre-AP course audit, you will be provided with a comprehensive list of the courses provided by College Board uh, in the AP. So click on the Add Course and you choose your course from the subject selection list in here. Once you find your course, click on it and then click Continue. So you will add your course to your course audit. The final step is to complete the course audit form. And as you can see, there is this orange notice in here that the, the course audit form is not completed yet. So you need to click on the course audit form. Once you do that, you will be directed to the course information. You need to take all of these uh, options in here. So uh, you need to click all of them. In here also, you need to agree on all of these uh, terms and conditions and uh, in here you need to select the textbook so once you click in here you will find a list of the textbook related to your subject 
and uh, finally you need to also to submit these questions and uh, this is the date of your course so let's say that this is November so we're going to start next week so 11th or 15th of November 2020 your last day should be during May so uh, uh, let's say that we're going to um, make it May 30th because the uh, AP exam is during May so it is 30th of May and finally you need to put your initials in here so let's say that my name is Shelly so SE so those are my initials my first name and my last name initials and I'm going to submit for administrator approval so the system administrator or the AP coordinator is going to receive a message and in order to approve you as uh, an AP course teacher once you do that you are going to find the AP classroom in here which is this option and you will find your courses added once it is approved by your coordinator this was the process of registering the teacher in the AP uh, course uh, I really hope that this video is uh, beneficial for you thank you for watching